Hello everyone, welcome back to Blue Vivian Aquatics where we share our experience and knowledge with you. So on this video, we're actually gonna be talking about potassium manganate and the use of it. And also we're going to show you how to use it and what to look for uh, when you do use it. So stay tuned. <laughs> about uh, potassium manganate and what it's actually used for and sometimes you'll hear people talking about discus baths and so forth uh, which generally with potassium manganate you can use with any sort of cigarette really it's just basically uh, antiseptic but it does rely on the strength and how strong you can uh, use a potassium manganate because you can overdo it so just keep in mind when you do use it um, just to be very liberal with it now here we're going to show you exactly what we're going to do and this is how we treat our fish um, also with our discus themselves especially um, how we give them an actual discus bath or an angelfish bath and etc so we're going to show you exactly what happens and um, the dosage to give in your fish now the other thing is to look at too if your fish are sick it's always best to have a hospital tank and having a hospital tank will isolate that fish from the others so it can give itself time to recuperate and also um, to get its energy back because the last thing it wants to do is uh, get picked on and so forth and that's even a quick way for it to be killed so what you do is if you have a hospital tank do try and use that to help your fish along to recover so what we've got here we've got uh, this is some tank water uh, in the bottom here and what we're going to do with this we're actually going to put um, a tiny bit of potassium manganate uh, which is this uh, product here I'll just show you now the potassium manganate um, you can get it in your uh, local chemist. I haven't yet to see it in the supermarket, so uh, it's not that expensive. It's roughly about five, six dollars for that much. Um, but generally, you don't need very much of it at all. Like this one uh, little bottle here that I just showed you, that lasts us a couple of years because you don't need to use a lot of it. And again, of course, it depends on what you're treating as well. So what we're gonna show you now is, now we've got the tank water, which is this here, all right? So we've put it out of the tank, and we're also going to just a very minute milliliter, if you can, millimil, of uh, the potassium manganate, which you can see on this spoon here. So as you can see, it's very, very small amount, but it does do a lot. So what we're going to do now, we're going to actually put it in this water. And what you actually see, it'll start to go purple, all right? Now, now that it's gone purple, this is telling you that the potassium magnate is mixed in and also it's very active. So it's going to be doing its job while it is still going purple. So it generally stays like that depending on uh, what you're treating. It depends, roughly can stay there between 20 to 30 seconds of your fish, basically. You don't leave it in there to swim through it the rest of its life and so forth, no. You just use it for 20 to 30 seconds and that's what we call a bath, okay? So what we do there, we just put the fish into that, keep it in there for 20 to 30 seconds, probably not any much longer than that because you can kill them with this if you've done it too strong, but it should be a quite a weak solution similar to this one. Now, what you do, once you've uh, cleared that all and you move your fish back into the quarantine tank, to clear this up, okay, what you can do, if your fish are all in a tank and they're in tank all on their own or with other six fish, what you can do when the potassium manganate isn't uh, active anymore, this will go brown. But for the argument, let's just say it's brown now. So what we generally do then, if it's brown, we just tip a little bit of uh, peroxide in there and uh, what the peroxide does, it will start clearing it all up. It's just like a chemical reaction. So as you can see now, it's starting to change color. All right, so now that it's gone to a pink to a brown, okay, it's starting to deactivate it now. So that's basically what happens now. In a bigger system, when you've got filters and so forth uh, in the hospital tank, what will happen is that rather than that from brown, it will go to clear, and that's to clear out all the potassium manganate in your tank, basically. So this is where they talk about using um, your active carbons and things like that, and with active, active carbon, that also clears out the, um, the dosages as well and clears out the potassium manganate uh, through the system. So 
That is a uh, potassium bath and that's what we do with our fish. Um, we hope you've got something out of this uh, video in regards to how to use the potassium magnate. As I said, you only need a very small amount as it is very, very strong. Now we do hope that you've uh, learned something out of this tutorial um, in regards to the potassium manganate. Um, if you'd like to uh, press the like button, that'll be great so that we can share our knowledge and experience with other hobbyists and, and the like. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do. If you have any comments or would love to leave a comment, uh, you can leave them in the comments section below. All right, without further ado then, that's the uh, end of this video. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video next week. Thank you for joining us.